Hello folks and welcome back. On this episode, we're going to cover wheel maintenance and brake adjustment on our Casita travel trailer. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. For this video, a friend of mine is going to help me out and do some of the maintenance so I can actually film it and give you a better video. For our trailer, we always repack the bearings when we redo the brakes. But if you want to adjust the brakes all by themselves, there's an adjustment hole on the back side here. You stick a screwdriver through and you turn the adjustment wheel to get your brakes to the level you want. When you're adjusting your brakes, you want to make sure that you feel a little drag on the wheel when you spin it. Ours were fine, so we're going to go ahead and pull the castle nut off here and pull our drum assembly off. Once you've got the drum assembly off, you want to pull the seal on the back and the two sets of bearings, and you can see ours do need to be cleaned and repacked here. The best way to clean and repack the bearings is to use a brake cleaner, and you're gonna wipe off the excess, spray it down uh, with the brake cleaner, and then use an air hose to blow the excess grease out of it and clean them out good. Once you have the bearings nice and clean, the next thing you to do is take a putty knife or something and clean the excess grease out of the center of the hub. Just be careful not to scratch it. And then use a rag and just wipe out the excess so it's nice and clean. Once you have the hub cleaned, you're gonna check your races, your bearing races in here just to make sure they're nice and smooth. Make sure that there's no scarring or anything on the races. Make sure you do both sides. At this point, you also wanna check the inside of your hub where the magnet goes and also where the brake shoes go and make sure that they're nice and smooth and no pinning. Next, you wanna use a grease that's uh, approved for the wheel bearings by Dexter. This is what we use. You wanna basically pack the inside of the hub first with grease. And once you get a nice quantity inside here, we're gonna pack the bearings. We have a tool that we bought from the auto parts store that allows us to repack the bearings. Uh, with grease, you basically have grease on the bottom of it. You're going to put your bearing down in there, and then you're going to use this to push down with pressure, and it's going to force grease up all the way into your bearings. You can hand pack them. Uh, it just takes some time to do that, but you'll see the bearing here now. It's got grease coming through. We just put the bearing in here, and then the next thing we're going to do is put the seal on the back side, and just use a flat piece of metal or, or a flat piece of wood works good. And you're just going to pound the bearing down in there with even pressure to make sure it's nice and flush all the way around. Once the seal's in nice and flush, we're going to basically repack the front bearing of the hub. And it's the same way we did the last one. We'll just show it to you here and just put pressure on there. Like I said, you can buy these at an auto pot store to repack these bearings. And when you pull it out, you'll see that there's uh, plenty of grease up through the bearing. And for now, we're just gonna go ahead and drop it in the front of the hub where it goes. And then we're gonna go out and install the hub on the actual trailer. Once we get out to the trailer, first thing we're gonna do is clean off the spindle. You wanna clean any excess grease. You're gonna check the back side where the seal sits. Then you're gonna also check the spindle here where the bearings ride to make sure it's smooth and there's no pitting on that. Then we're gonna take the actual hub assembly. We're gonna take the front bearing out of it and we're gonna slide the hub assembly onto the brake assembly and to the spindle. You wanna slide it on straight and you wanna go with no angle so that you don't damage the seal on the back side, and just carefully slide it on. And then once you've got it on, you're gonna take next and put your outer bearing in. You see it just slides right in. Then we're gonna take our washer, some of this excess grease off, then we're gonna take our washer, put it on. Next thing's gonna be our locking washer, which holds our castle nut. And uh, one thing they like to do is these little pins that stick out, they'll take a hammer and just tap them down, just make sure they're flush against the spindle. 
so they don't interfere with the castle nut. And then the final thing we're going to do here uh, for reassembly mm -hmm. is put the castle nut on. And you just got to make sure they're easy to cross thread. Just make sure you don't cross thread it when you put it on there. Once we get the castle nut on there, we're going to tighten it down. I've showed you in my previous video how Dexter says to do it. Uh, this trailer shop, uh, they do it a little bit different, but it's still the same thing. You're just going to tighten the castle nut up. You're going to snug it up. You're going to spin the wheel, snug it up, back it off, snug it up, spin the wheel. And basically all you're trying to do here is get your uh, bearings to seat down in the raceways. And then uh, you're just going to snug it up. Uh, your wheel should still spin. And see, he's just tightened it up just enough to get the, those locking pins off of that washer, the outer washer, to go down through the castle nut to hold it. And actually going to have to snug it just a hair more. And you just take that uh, locking pin and you just push it down and that locks your castle nut to keep it from coming off. And then we're going to spin the wheel again just to make sure that it turns freely. There should also be a little resistance from the brakes if they're adjusted properly. Then we're going to put the uh, grease cap on and the little rubber seal inside of it. And we are finished with this side. We'll do the exact same thing on the other side of the trailer, and then we'll be finished with our brakes and wheel assembly. We hope this helps you out. We hope this answers any questions you have about doing the wheel assemblies. And we want to tell you we appreciate you watching, and thank you for your support, and we'll see you in the campground.